Today on the Justice Court, Comfort Nordin, a script writer, is asking the court to compel Victor Ene, a movie producer, to honor the agreement they have on a movie production. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Comfort Unodim and Victor Ene. Parties for another. Thank you, Aki. You're welcome, Your Honor. Comfort Unodim. Your Honor, Mom. Yeah. Can you tell me why you are here? Okay. I am here because of the case between I and my producer, Victor Ene. I am a, a script writer a songwriter also, and there's a script I, I got down for film production. Then along the line, someone introduced Victor N as a film producer to me. Then we, we entered into agreement for him to produce and market it. While I'm, I as a writer, I also sponsor with my husband. My husband is my sponsor and one of my church members too came in to partner with me. So along the line, after the production, Victorine went against the agreements we had and sold the film to Nolly Land without my knowledge. And we were waiting for the film to come out that was 2018, February. He assured us that the film will be out at least August. So we waited, not knowing that he has put the film in the market. And we could not get anything from the film. When, whenever we get to maybe DSTV, uh, Iroko TV, Linda Ikeji, to market the film, even we sign an agreement that's supposed to be exclusive with um, Iroko TV, but they later find out that the movie was already in YouTube, so they rejected it, DSTV rejected it, and since then, we could not get anything from the movie, and since then, Victor Ene packed out from where he was living, and when I find out that he has already put the film in, in the market. We took him up and we took the case to Panty. Then, but we could not get anything out what of it. What happened that, Panty? What happened? They detained him, but when my husband went to give a statement, we found out that it was already out. And since then, when we you called... Know, you know why I asked that? Because at times, people have that misconception that when you take somebody to the police station, the minute they give that person bail, that means they, you are already compromised. No. There are some offenses that are billable offenses. So as long as the offense falls under a billable offense, the police will grant bail. Yeah. But that does not mean you cannot say, pursue the criminal offense by asking them to charge the matter to court. Do you understand me? Yes. So, just because you discovered it was on bail, you lost interest. Is no. that what happened? No. Okay, so what happened? And what happened was that along the line, things became so hard that we couldn't pay uh, for the accommodation where we were living. And then, and we were asked to leave the place. And during the, in that period, we were able to take the children to our own uh, structure that we raised at Atom. So right now, we are living at Atom, and there was no form to further the case. And I had just to take the children to Atom and the place, because things were so tough that we could not even, we withdrew the children from school. 
I'm also a student. I dropped I drop out of school, and I could not further anything. And even right now, the children, we just put a tarpaulin in the uncompleted project we had because that was the only choice. We take the children there, even things got out of hand. So that was when I, a friend introduced me to Justice Scott. The plaintiff, Comfort Nordim, engaged Victor Enne to produce a movie script she developed and to market it. Both parties signed an agreement on this transaction, but Comfort alleges that Victor jettisoned the agreement and sold the movie out without making any return. Now, Victor Enne is at large. She is in court to seek redress. Comfort, luxury, style, class, tranquility, and nature. The ideal home for today's game changers has all these and more. Looking for more? Then look no further than Master's Villa. An ultra-modern luxury estate nestled in the very heart of the Lekki Peninsula. The avant-garde architectural styles of our homes and villas reflects a lifestyle that is both exclusive and intuitive. So, are you looking for more? Then look no further than Pazino Homes and Gardens. Call us today on these numbers. Pazino Homes and Gardens, your choice today. So what do you want from the courts? I want the court to help me because uh, Victorine is not speaking my call, is nowhere to be found and even uh, one of the lawyers here uh, that I forwarded his number to have been trying him, they could not contact him. Uh, he's not picking his call, his call and he's not responding to his text. I want and you don't know where he lives right now? I don't know where he is. He packed out. Even his wife, nowhere to be found. And we could not get anything from the production. So what do you say you want the court to do now? Because I still don't understand. Okay. If I want the court to help me assess him, or if there's any maybe help, they can help. Because right now, things are not normal financially. Things are not normal. If I can, if the court can help me uh, get him or any other help that I can get from the court so that I will be able to at least get my children back to school. Victor has really run so many things down in my in my life, even in my home, financially. And Victor also signed an agreement to sell the film to a French TV station. That is to translate the film to French language. And up till now, we didn't get anything from him. And things are really getting tough. So, so there are two things that you have brought before the court, if I understand you clearly. The first is about Victor Ene. Yes. With Victor Ene, you can't locate him. If you can locate him, it's easier for us to get him. But we keep trying on that. On the other aspect, um, there's this misconception with viewers believing that the Justice Court is an NGO. Justice Court is not an NGO. There are NGOs out there that are waiting for your kind of situation to pick up. Because that's why and what they are established for. But in this courtroom, it's a regular court. Yes, you yeah. You know, you don't go to the courtroom and tell the court that I need money. 
Can you give me money? No. no. Do you understand now? Yes, Your Honor. Once you can identify where he lives, or where he works, or you know somebody that can lead you to him. I've been trying since 2018. I've been trying his. So if you that know him very well cannot locate him, you realize how it is. Do you understand? The plaintiff said the defendant has been unreachable and he is not in court. Judge Fumi advises the plaintiff to furnish a valid address for Victor. After the break, she dismisses this matter. Yes. Okay, so, I'll be dismissing your matter. This matter is thereby dismissed. All right. Hold on. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.